Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to another plant haul. So I'm, you probably can tell about my smile. I'm really excited about this plant haul because today, as you've seen from the title of this video, this is the second half of the original Hoyer haul that I did a few weeks ago. So I have 10 Hoyer to show you today. I do actually have some more at my shop that I've been keeping there. I haven't brought them here just because I figured, to be quite honest, 10 is enough for this haul. I will cover the rest at a later date, no doubt. I think I'm probably just gonna get straight into it because there's no introductions needed. As I say, if you haven't seen my first Hoyer haul, the link will be down below for that. Please feel free to watch it if you're interested in Hoyer. So there's a couple of duplicates in this box. I think I liked one of the Hoyas so much I did buy two of them so I could propagate from one of them. Other than that, there's some variations of some different types of Hoya in there as well. So a little bit of a mixed bag. And I'm kind of curious to see what people think about this. So I'm just going to start pulling some stuff out. I don't think you can see what I'm pulling out. No, you can't. I'm just going to kind of space them out on the sofa beside me. I'm filming on the sofa again, by the way, or the couch. Um, because a few people were like, oh, yo, I really love that setup. So I thought, why not just do a really chilled out plant haul? Do you know what I mean? And we'll just film it here because it's a lot nicer than sitting at the table. So we're filming it here. Right, I just need to pull out a few more of these. These are in the same packaging as they were shipped to me in, just so you're aware. Um, I haven't done anything with them. They don't need anything done with them, they're fine. I would say that some of these Hoya are reasonably difficult to get. Um, I think most of them are difficult to get. Don't know how difficult, I'm just so new to Hoya, I can't actually tell you, I can't give you that information. But let's just go through them. Right, I'm gonna pick kind of two here because I feel like I need to explain myself a little bit, but I bought these two different Hoya. Knowing that they were different, but I couldn't really figure out for myself A, why they were different, and B, is it just a trade name, if you know what I mean, given to a slightly different appearance. So I have two Hoya here. I'm gonna hold them up and I'm gonna tell you what I know them to be and what I know the difference to be. Sorry, that's really cryptic. So in this hand here, this is Hoya Carnosa Freckles Splash. In this hand here, this is, what is this? Hoya Carnosa Stardust. I'll show them up to the camera. Hopefully the camera is gonna play nice today and it's gonna show you both. So this is the Freckles, the Freckles Splash. This is the Stardust. Now, as I say, I got these because I genuinely wanted to see for myself the difference. I also thought if there is a difference, later down the line, if you guys want me to really go into the differences, then I can do a video on them because I don't like doing videos about differences between plants if I don't have the plants. It's kind of like a, a requirement of me doing that kind of video. I like to have the plants there. So I got these based on that. I must say, I actually love Hoya Carnosa generally. I think it's great. I love anything silver and splashy. I know I covered this in the last haul. I'm just a bit obsessed with it. So if I move in a little bit closer, so you can see what I'm talking about. Hopefully this will focus. Right, so it looks like it is. I hope it is. So basically, I believe this one is, it's well, it's called freckles. It looks like there's less variegation on it. It would appear to me that the leaves are a different shape. Now, this one, the Stardust, looks much more like a Wilbur Graves, I would say, which could be potentially very interesting because if you think about it, I don't know if people can get confused between these. I don't know. Hoya people, let me know. So this one just looks more silvery than everything else. I do think the leaf shape is a bit different to a Wilbur Graves. I think they're longer and thinner, but I, I love them both. I do obviously prefer the Stardust because I think I prefer, at least on this specimen anyway, I prefer the way that the leaves are, i.e. more just pointed um, than these that are a bit more round. Um, so admittedly, I didn't buy this because I really wanted it. I was just so curious to see the difference. That's kind of why I purchased that one. This one I was desperate for. I saw this on Instagram and I was like, oh yes. There they are again. Again, I'm not gonna spend ages on each plant today, but that's the two different Hoya there. So they look the same. They don't appear to be the same. As soon as I opened the box, I correctly guessed which one was which. I correctly guessed that this was the Stardust and this was the Freckles. So I guess that means they are different. Do let me know. This looks like much rounder leaf than this one, obviously. Okay, so the next plant is connected. So I'm gonna mention it now. Where is it? Which one is it? Which one is it? Oh, it's here, okay. This next plant I have originally hauled before in the last Hoya haul, but I bought the one from the last Hoya haul after this one. This order that I have today, by the way, has been on order since I believe it could have been June. So here is yet another Hoya Wilbur Graves. Will it focus? Yes. Look at that. 
Still obsessed with this plant, honestly. So, you can probably guess where I'm going with this, but would you say this is a similar plant? Would you say this was a dupe? I kind of felt like it was. Obviously, there are differences. There really are, you can tell. I don't know if the, this is the stardust, by the way. I don't know if the stardust produces any pink, pinkness on its leaves. I don't know. I only ever see it being silver. I know that the Wilbur can go really pretty in pink. So maybe that's the difference between them. I can say that these leaves are smaller, rounder, stumpier. They're generally a bit more silver than this, but I don't know if that's just down to the cutting. So I will hold them both up again so you can see. Hopefully they will both focus. This is the Stardust, this is the Wilbur. I love them both. I don't particularly love one more than the other in this specific case because this one, I just, well, it's so similar. Yeah, there's less silver on it, but I like the leaf shape. I bought these because I was just so interested in the difference between them and I think it is intriguing. Try and hold all three up again. Like, oh, uh, like so. Uh, it's probably not gonna come off great, but there's the three. This is Stardust. This one down in the middle is Freckles, and the one on the left is Wilbur. Next, plant. We've got a couple of variations here. Uh, what do we want? I hold the regular version of this plant in the first Hoya haul. I did find out that there were other versions of this plant quite a while ago. It's just taken me a long time to get this variation. But you probably will know where this is going very quickly, but on the last Hoya Hall, the first Hoya Hall, I guess you could say, I hold a beautiful Hoya Polyneura. So you probably know where I'm going with this if you're into your Hoya. This here is, I don't know how to pronounce this, so I'm gonna try, Hoya Polyneura Brogue. I believe you would say Brogue, Brogue, Brogue. So it's the same as a Polyneura. My Polyneura is not here, so I can't compare it, I'm afraid. That was a bit of a dick move on my part. I should have brought it, but never mind. So this one is like a Polyneura, only it's more silver and more splashed like this. I mean, how well you can see. It looks like it's focusing pretty good today. It looks like focusing is on my side. Again, very similar to a polyneura. It's just got a bit of splash in it. So if you don't care about the whole silver splash thing, then I mean, half of this haul is just not gonna be for you, admittedly. But if you don't care, obviously just go for a normal polyneura because they're a lot cheaper and they're a lot easier to find. This one, I just love, I just love anything silver and splashy. I can't help it. Honestly, it's an addiction at this point. So I had to try this one. It's not quite, I'm gonna say something a lot of people might not like, it's not quite as impressive in person as I thought it was gonna be. I don't know, it's beautiful. It is beautiful, don't get me wrong. I just, for some reason, thought it was gonna pack a little bit more of a punch than what it does. However, I would love to see a full plant of this because maybe it's going to take seeing a more full plant of this against the other full plant of this to really be able to see the difference. But I'm really, really excited with this one. It is nice, it is beautiful. It's just not quite as, I don't know what I expected. Maybe it's just because I'm going off Instagram pictures and obviously a lot of those are edited to look a little bit more favorable at the same time, you know what I mean? We've got Facetune, right? I'm sure, I'm sure there is a plant equivalent of that shit going on. I would be very surprised if it wasn't. So we'll put him down momentarily because I have another Polyneura here. So this one does impress me a little bit more. I think that's why that Hoya doesn't impress me much because I have one here that I can see more of a difference. This one right here, I will waste no time. This is Hoya Polyneura Silver. I'll show you it up close and then I will compare it with the other Polyneura right here. There. It, to be honest, when it's not next to something, it might be difficult to actually see the difference. If I hold up the Brogue, the Brogue next to it, like so, are you gonna focus? Can you see the difference? It's not super obvious on this camera. Maybe it is in editing, I don't know. So this one here is just more silver than this one. This has silver splash in it, but this one, the splash is the leaf, basically. It's kind of, it's just all over silver. I don't know if I bump the light on this one and put this like right in a windowsill that the silver would become more bright. That's quite possible, I'm not really sure. But I think I'm more impressed by this one than this one. And I just think, quite simply, it's because this one is just more silver. But this one is still very beautiful. I think my mind will change when this one becomes a fuller plant. Even this one, this is gonna look gorgeous. My plan, if you hadn't worked it out, is to have big full plants of the three variations. A nice big bushy hanging plant. Yes, I know, that's gonna take a significant amount of time, but I'm really, really just eager to get there. I'm a rambling mess today. I'm sorry, I'm just in a very good mood. I feel really positive today, and I don't think I've felt this positive for a while. I'm just, 
I'm in a good mood and I'm just excited to have my Hoya because I've waited for these things since June. It is now, as of recording this, we're in September. We're approaching mid-September. That's quite a while, so I'm just super excited. Let's do this one here. This one has a little bit of a folded leaf and I'm a little bit upset about that, but it's, to be honest, the transit was brilliant. So this is like a small price to pay. I hauled one of these plants last time as well in the last haul, providing the ID on that is correct anyway, because the leaf shape on this plant looks different to the one that I hold. So maybe the other one's a false ID, I don't know. I hauled a Hoya Crassipetiolata, I think, in the first Hoya haul. I had to get a splashed version. Obviously, that's kind of the game that I'm playing here. So this is Hoya Crassi Petiolata. Let's just check. Yes, it is Hoya Crassi Petiolata Splash. That doesn't want to focus on me that time. I'm not winning that battle. There we go. There. Really, really pretty. It just, I don't know what it is. The leaf shape is pointy here, but on mine in the old video, if you look at it, it's actually rounded on some of my leaves, if not all of my leaves. So I don't know if I've got a wrong ID on the first Hoya, because I, I believe that this is what it is because it matches everything on Instagram. I don't know, but this is just gorgeous. It's a really, really pretty one. See if I can get any closer. I don't know if my camera's gonna let you, there you go. Sorry, that is like insanely close. That's like up your nostril close, but let me just move this out of the way. So you can see it a little bit better. There you go. Really, 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 really pretty. Love that. I bought it because it's splashed. I didn't plan on buying the one that I originally got. I think I might have mentioned this in my original haul. I kind of saw it and wanted it and got it 20 minutes later kind of thing. But when I really thought about it and I saw the splashed versions, I was like, okay, I want this one. Like, this is the one I really want. That is Hoya Crassi Petiolata Splash. I think I'm, I'm also feeling very comfortable being sat here. It's a really, really nice feeling. I'm surrounded by light. It's really nice. I can see my fish off camera. Um, you will get that video eventually, by the way. Really sorry about that. Let's not speak about that yet. I just feel good. Let's do these two together. Again, this is another one where I'm holding them together because this is two of the same plant. And again, I hauled one of these in my last Hoya haul. Can you see a pattern? Basically, the theme is here. I got so impatient waiting for these Hoya to come. I kind of went and bought second versions of them because I'm just impatient. I really need to work on that. It's not, it's not good. I bought two of these deliberately in this order. And full disclosure, I bought one to keep for myself and I bought one to take cuttings from and start reproducing it because I love it that much. So I'm going to be cutting one in half and then I'm keeping the other one for me. If you don't already know, this is Hoya Carnosa Grey Ghost, and there is two of them. I'll not hold this one for long because it's super wobbly, but I'll just show you here next to my face so I know it focuses. That's one, and that is the other. This is the one I'll keep for me because it's resembling more of a Hoya, a little bit more that I'll grow out. And this one, clearly, I'd probably chop. So I'll just show you this one because there's no point showing you both up close. This, show you this here, because it's just such a lovely plant. This is a beautiful, beautiful plant. I'll talk while I'm showing you this. I think this plant is different from Hoya Carnosa Nova Ghost because I feel like these leaves end up being more square than Nova Ghost, which is round. I would like to know the answer to that in the comments. So if you could tell me in the comments if Nova Ghost and Grey Ghost are the same, that would be great. Hopefully they are the same because otherwise I probably have to go and collect the Nova Ghost so I can really see the differences. It's a problem I've got. It's also a great excuse to buy more, but anyway. So I'll show you again, hopefully to be really focus. Yeah, really pretty. This cost more than the other Hoya. Um, I think it might have cost the same price as the Wilbur, actually. I think these are the same price. I'm not gonna talk about prices. I covered that in my last video. I just don't wanna talk about prices on this channel. Honestly, if I gave you a price that I paid for these, by the time somebody else went to buy them, it is likely that the price has changed. Not only that, but someone might watch this next year and assume that you can get the plants for the same amount and you probably can't. So that's why I'm not mentioning price, but I'm pretty sure these were the same amount. Obviously, this is a little bit more easy to get than this one. This is the Wilbur, sorry, I'm holding up. Um, but yeah, so I bought it like this because I wanted more of a full looking plant and there was an option to have more leaves, so I took it. The other plant I will be chopping right there, no doubt, and I will propagate from this one and grow it on. So technically I have three gray ghosts, which does seem a bit excessive, but I just love the plants. I love anything silver, I really do. So that is those. There's not much to say about them. I know I've spoken about them before, 
So I'm gonna pop them there. And I'm gonna get on to the two interesting ones that I have left. I don't know how rare they are. One of them really isn't that rare, especially in other countries. I don't think it's hard to get at all. I've seen quite bushy plants of these in other countries. And then another one I don't see often at all. So the first plant I'm gonna show you is, honestly, it was a natural progression because I already own this Hoya anyway, and this is a variation of it. Can you see a damn pattern in what I'm saying today? So this was just a natural thing that I just had to pick up. I love the original version. I really wanted this version. I will waste no more of your time today. Here is the Hoya Kentiana variegata. Now then, before I hold this up to the camera, I will freely admit that I'm just as confused as a lot of you when I don't know if Wayetii is Kentiana and the other way around. I don't know what the T is fully on that yet. I believe, to me, this looks like Wayetii. I think that Kentiana has longer and thinner leaves. I don't know. Sold as Kentiana, I believe it's probably Wayetii. I'll let you look for yourself because if higher experts out there can tell me if it's Wayetii or Kentiana or if there's a difference or there isn't a difference or whatever, then let me know. Just this leaf here, this green one, just says Wayetii to me. But it, it might actually be Kentiana. It seems to be a really confusing subject, if I'm honest. I don't really get what's going on with it. Really cute though, look at that. It's just so adorable. So no matter what it is, I love it all the same. This is what I wanted when I ordered it. So it's really, really pretty, just variegated version of what I have, but oh, I love that. I've seen full plants of these, let me tell you that, and they just look the tits. They look so gorgeous. They're all beautiful and spiky, but it's like a blonde version of, you know, the normal way the eye. I think they're just great. And even, oh my God, and when they're sun-stressed and they come through pink, so you've got little bits of green, you've got the variegated color and you've got bits of pink on it, it just looks phenomenal. I'm pretty sure Hopefully I'm not wrong here. I'm pretty sure that Not Dude has some really good Hoya pictures on his Instagram and I'm sure as hell he has one of these and it's got some sun blushing, you know, some pink on it. And it's just, honestly guys, it's the tits. Go check it out if you haven't seen it. So my last Hoya is similar to the one that I've just shown you. And I believe that this is harder to get than the one I've just shown you. I didn't know about it. I don't know how I found out about this Hoya. I think I might have just seen in an image on Instagram and I had to go on the hunt for it. I'm not so sure that I found this very easily. I don't think this is a Hoya that pops up a lot. I don't know. Again, I'm always willing to be corrected in the comments, so let me know. I'm, I'm totally willing to get schooled the house on Hoya, but I'm just gonna tell you what it is. I have here, and this is possibly my favorite Hoya, apart from the Carnosa Stardust, right here. This is probably my favorite Hoya in this, at least this haul today. So this is the Hoya Kentiana. Laurie Lynn. So it's apparently Hoya Kentiana Albo Laurie Lynn. But look, honestly, that's just, honestly, it's so good. I'm gonna come even closer. This Hoya here, hopefully it will focus. Let me just tap and make it double sure that it will. So the cool thing about this, I'll hold the other one up because it's all I've got to show you really. That's variegated in the center. This is like, it's green and it has variegation on the margin, but it's also, I believe, quite famous for its pink leaf margins. And honestly, it looks fucking brilliant. Look at this. This is a nice one. It's weird, I don't usually love pink on plants, but for some reason in Hoya, I find it quite acceptable. It's a little bit bizarre to me, to be honest. But look at this, honestly. I don't know if this is coming off as like, oh my God, amazing. But to me, it really is. And in person, it really is as well. I don't know if there's any cool leaves. This is a quite a variegated leaf there. Look at that. Look at that. Hoya Kentiana Albo Lori Lynn. Again, I don't know if it's Kentiana or Wetii. I really don't know. I Can I even see a difference in the leaves? No, to me it's the same bloody plant. Let me hold them up one more, one more time because this is the last plant in the hole. That doesn't look like it's focusing. Jesus Christ, man. But I don't know what the differences really are there. I can't, I don't know. I just don't know. So I do have some more Hoya at my shop. I don't know how many I have. I It's got to be at least 10 Hoya that you probably haven't seen. So you will see them at some point. You won't see them for a while. 
because I won't be doing a plant haul for a little while. You also won't see any repot with me videos for a little while. I won't be doing those videos for a little while. And that is because I have something I would like to share with you.